This is a demonstration of the power PCB. Um, so you can see that we have two green LEDs indicating that the power supply input is good and that the LTC controller is outputting a input voltage to the um, to the buck converter. So I'll just show now. It's a little difficult to show while recording, um, but we'll show that. We are reading a good uh, output voltage. Sorry for the weird camera angle. And we can see we're reading five volts out. Now this is of course under no load. Um, and then we will demonstrate that the shutdown functionality is working. So we've got three shutdown jumpers here. Um, one for the LTC 4360. Five, I think that's the part number. Um, 4365, yep, sorry. Um, and then the two 3.3 and 5 volt enable disables for the 8650. Um, so I'll just show that the, uh, the shutdown for the 8650 is working, um, but I'll just show um, the 4365. So I remove this jumper, you can see that now we're shut down, the bat fault goes on because we are shut down and we can see that the output of that voltage is now zero volts. So I'll probe here. Now we've got you know, 1.8 and it's dropping just due to bus capacitance. Um, so that's fun, and we'll turn that back on, and then I'll just demonstrate that the um, undervoltage lockout is working. So uh, as you can see, we're operating at 14.3, which is kind of on the upper end of our battery input voltage. We'll increase that a bit. So you can see once we get above 15 volts, 15.2 volts, then our over voltage protection goes into effect. And if we bring this down again, it goes back into tolerance. And we keep bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down. I'll go into fine mode. And under about, um, it triggers at about six volts, our under voltage lockout protection goes into effect. And then now I turn the power supply down to zero volts, so it's disconnected. And the LED turns off because you can't have an LED powered on off of zero volts. So that's power board. Uh, I think we're ready to make uh, four more of these. Thanks.